So why do we want to go to Antarctica? James and I really believe that adventure is born there. I mean, that's where all the really strong winds are. It's an absolutely hostile place. And now the opportunities come up for Justin and I to have our own adventure in 2011 down in Antarctica, and we can't wait. We want to be the first people to ever walk from the edge of the Antarctic ice cap to the South Pole and back, completely unsupported. With all our own gear, all our own provisions, it's going to be a hell of a journey. It's Man first reached the South Pole a hundred years ago. In the century since, no one has ever completed an unsupported return journey to the South Pole and back. Over the next year, we've actually got to turn our bodies into absolute machines. We're going to have to embark on a really intense training schedule. Physically, this journey is going to be many, many multiple times harder than getting ready for the Tasman. <laughs> Developing systems to deal with the cold is a crucial part of staying alive down in Antarctica. Cass and I are also going to learn how to ski. Neither of us come from a skiing background, so it's a really steep learning curve. And to be honest, we're still not much better. We've got so far to go in order to get our skills up to a level where we can attempt this world first. <laughs> Jesus, we've got a long way to go before we're ready for Antarctica. We can't even get down these hills. Crossing the ice is going to be a world first expedition. Unsupported. 2,200 kilometres. 160 kilogram sleds each. Minus 40 degree temperatures. The ever present risk of frostbite and hypothermia. And when you kiss 